Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, and the Cincinnati Bengals as they match up with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. With that, let's get up to Buffalo. Standing by at New Era Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. There's a look at New Era Field here in Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their bills will do battle with the Cincinnati Bengals. With you from the booth, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. A CDR matchup here. A couple of teams last year that were really pretty similar. Both under 500. Both missed the playoffs. And they both think that they can turn things around in 2019. Yeah, how about 2018, though? A case of the haves and the have-nots. In 16-game seasons in the NFL, for the first time last year, no one finished 8-8. Eight and eight. Now, you know that in baseball, basketball, other sports, turnarounds can take three, four, five years. In football, could just be a few months. Bullock out now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Josh Allen set to lead this Buffalo offense. Uh, he led them from behind in week one. They got down to the New York Jets in a division game, but somehow came back to get the 17-16 win, partner. They were down 16-3 to in the fourth quarter, and he ends up throwing for one and running for one in the fourth quarter. And as you mentioned, brings Buffalo back. Still looks like a guy that in the pocket, when it's time to go, he's gone. And that's working quite well for he and Buffalo at this moment. Now movement already. So a flag down here on our Don't very start. first play. Offense. The former Sooner, Cody Ford, second round pick back in April, guilty there. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Now let's take a look here at the Bills offense. When you play as well and as hard as Frank Gore, you get a chance to tour the NFL. How about his first 10 years in San Francisco? Three in Indianapolis, a year in Miami, now starting his first year in Buffalo and his 15th NFL season, the game's active leading rusher and fourth all time. 57 to Mike. Nine, nine, sweet, huh? <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Allen, he's gonna hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a, different a story. long night. First down, and he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. And the Bengals starting defensive unit now. Strong safety Sean Williams really bounced back from injuries in previous seasons to post one of the best years of his NFL career. Five interceptions in 2018, led the league in interception return yards, provides great veteran leadership, and some real thump coming from his spot in the secondary.
Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. And that'll set them back five. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Following the penalty, it's Gore. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. That's a prime example of how Josh Allen can hurt a defense. You remember back to his rookie season a year ago, 631 rushing yards, second only to Lamar Jackson. Also had eight rushing touchdowns. He is a dual threat QB. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. And now they'll throw with Allen. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Jones last year led the Bills, 652 receiving yards, seven touchdowns, more than doubled his production from 2017. Now they're hoping for an even bigger bump this year. Allen now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Allen to throw again. And an alley to run. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. That's going to be caught, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage, but now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's gonna throw the football, that to be pinpoint here. I was, I was gonna ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just wanna see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now Allen, stepping up, he's gonna keep it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble, it's second down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gore. And Gore will get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Steven Hauschka for the point after. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a Frank Gore touchdown run. now to send this one away following the score. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Andy Dalton, who had a heck of a performance on the road against a tough Seattle defense, brings out the Bengals' offense here. But let's talk about that week one game, 21 to 20. Yes, a loss on the road at Seattle. I get that, but Charles, 35 of 51, 418 yards for Dalton. A big day against a very tough defense, as you noted, on the road and with a new head coach in place who's calling the offense for him. So he's adapting quite well without his number one target, A.J. Green, who's heard it this time. So give Andy Dalton a lot of credit. Crossroads-type season for him. Didn't get the win, but he looked darn good. And those 418 yards that he threw for the most of any quarterback on Sunday around the NFL. Now Joe Mixon. Star Latulale in on the tackle. Here now the offense for the Bengals. Out of the backfield is Joe Mixon, and he was a valuable commodity coming out of the University of Oklahoma because of his ability to be so versatile. Can run it inside with power, gets to the perimeter and can outrun people, catches the ball not only out of the backfield, but you can split him out just like he would be a receiver. And I think that if he wanted to dedicate himself, he'd be an all-pro kick returner. From the 29, Dalton, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. Throw the ball at your own peril when Jordan Poyer is in the lineup. In the last two seasons, he's been in the top 10 in interceptions both years and second on the team in tackles in 2018. An all-around terrific center field type of a safety. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. He's got his man here. It's green. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A.J. Green, 71 yards, as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. When A.J. Green's on the field, something exciting usually happens, and that was certainly exciting. Superior route runner, superior hand, superior body control, but I love the way he reacts to the football in the air. Finds it, locates it, and goes and gets it before the defensive backs can react. for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Let's go, baby. Now the Bengals defense readies as they head onto the field. And as we're going to see right here, they have been laying some pretty electrifying hits in this one. And these are for real. Okay, as you watch, think about putting yourself in that spot, about being the ball carrier or the receiver. I don't want to. And then taking that shot, it is something else. It's not like when we were watching that, that video clip where they showed you how they make sounds for movies. <laughs> this is for real. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Four check yards on that last completion, check, so that sets up check, second check, and six. Check, check, check. To throw, it's Allen looking middle, and it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. of two and it'll be second and 12 and never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way lost yardage no for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move <laughs> the ball downfield running it that way doesn't it but in this case if you're the defensive guys you're energized executed well and you caused a lost yardage play that's going to feel good and look great in film A run right side, it's Gore. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks gotta see that. Gotta find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. From the gun, it's Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 43. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. 
From the gun, Allen. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. On play action, Allen. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Getting the sack, the big D tackle, Geno Atkins. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. On third and long, it's Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Alex Erickson deep for Cincinnati. Cincinnati getting the ball back here. Yeah, we discussed what Andy Dalton did week one against Seattle. Now, they didn't have A.J. Green. Joe Mixon missed much of the game, Charles. He exited with an ankle injury. John Ross, though, was excellent at wide receiver. Boy, was he ever. Would you say there's been a sighting of yeah. John Ross? Big time. Because his rookie year, there was discussion about him going back to his first position in college, which was cornerback. But in this game... He's announced he's going to stay at receiver. Seven catches, 158 yards, two touchdowns. His previous high in his career, three catches for 52 yards. John Ross breaks out. Felt comfortable back in the state of Washington. Remember, he was a Washington Husky in college. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Well, a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. The all-pro Andre Roberts deep for Buffalo. Great coverage there, holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo ready to take over again here on offense. And they overcame a slow start in week one. Got a great road victory in the division, mind you, against the New York Jets, 17 to 16. Where do you see them going from here? To New Jersey next week because they play the Giants there. <laughs> oh. bum, 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 rip shot. You like that one? Somebody's smart today. <laughs> I see this team building around their quarterback, Josh Allen. And with a head coach in Sean McDermott, that's defense first because that's his background. When they start to put all that together, I don't think they're ready to challenge New England yet. I don't think anyone is in that division. 
but can they challenge for a playoff spot? The answer is yes. Challenge for a wild card because of the defense, because of the young quarterback who plays with a little bit of fearlessness right now. They could surprise a few people. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on first down is Allen. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets go, into go. enemy territory. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Bills on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and ten. Allen. Well, it's caught on the right side. It's Smith. Well, oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now Dalton, and the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. Well, normally you and I would have gone through our season predictions before week one, but Hurricane Dorian prevented us from doing that last week. So let's go ahead and hear them, your division winners and then the Super Bowl. Okay, let's start in the AFC. New England in the east, Bold. Tennessee in the south. Pittsburgh in the north, and Kansas City out west. Okay, so I'm with you on three of the four, but I'm going to go with a way too strong week one reaction and give Baltimore the edge in the north. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, let's go NFC. All right. I'm going Philadelphia in the east, New Orleans in the south, Minnesota in the north, and the Los Angeles Rams out west. Okay, so I got two different ones. I'm going to go Dallas on the east, and then I'm going to go Green Bay in the north. The reason I didn't go Dallas, there hasn't been a repeat winner in the east since 2003-2004, so I go with history on okay. that one. Super Bowl predictions, I like Kansas City and New Orleans. Third time's the charm for the Saints to get to the Super Bowl. Okay, I'm going to go New England over New Orleans in the Super Bowl. So you got New England winning it? Yet again, I've shocker. Got, I've got New Orleans beating Kansas City, so this is going to be fun to see how it turns out. Run. 
First and 10 for Dalton. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And that'll bring up second down. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Second and 10, Dalton once more. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. John Ross, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs gonna throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw, luckily fell incomplete. Green's got it over the middle. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And Bullock will put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. John Brown now heading back onto the field as he gets set to go here. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Not today, you are. Not today. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He was looking for Devin Singletary there. And it's second down. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen towards the end zone for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And that takes us from second to third down. Go. 
The Bills on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and ten. Allen off the play fake. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And this one is right down the middle. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. This is fielded at the goal line. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed but they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Dalton here from the gun. Complete to the right side, it's Eifert. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Nice completion there for Andy Dalton. Charles, you worked some of his games when he was at TCU. Now you've worked his games in the NFL. What progression have you seen? I've seen a guy who took over as a freshman in college and got better and better each year. Always added a little bit more to his game, got stronger. But the best part about him is he's always been accurate. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. Dalton now to pass. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot. Excellent coverage. Didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Dalton. And his throw is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up four. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is Find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. So the missed 56 yarder and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. On play action, Allen, blitz coming, and down he goes. Credit the sack to the safety, Jesse Bates. Oh, free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass, and when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. Get 
Getting set to go again. Andy Dalton marches back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. And now the throw hold in by Green. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Cincinnati. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Brings up second and five at the 47 yard. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now whistles at a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. That's complete, Bernard. Give him two yards on that play, and that's gonna lead to a third down. Looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Another chance for Dalton. That's complete to John Ross. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll get seven out of it, but it brings up a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Bills. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Allen going to throw. Complete to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen rolling to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now Allen off the bootleg. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Back now in Buffalo. Knotted up here at 10. That's our score as we begin quarter number four. game fourth quarter and they're going for this thing on fourth down Allen will look to throw for it on fourth and that is incomplete the Bills drive stalls out on fourth down and the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position boy an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there game tied fourth quarter you got to be surprised I am and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time, the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out, and again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. First and ten, here's Andy Dalton. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A draw play. Good on. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Mixon. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Dalton. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Personally, I think they've got to go somewhere else with the football. They've got to bracket it out there in double coverage. Makes it hard to fit it in time after time. It would have had to have been an absolutely perfect pass and not good enough. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield.
So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter time. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, it actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Bullock to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. Do you think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Geno Atkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a go. second down and 12. Go. On play action, Allen. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant oh, offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Hartney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. Allen now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Allen now, from the gun, he'll throw. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Geno Atkins able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Get 
After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Back to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. To throw is Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 more on that one and another first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but that clock rolling. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that will be caught by Jones. He's got a Buffalo touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills have retaken the lead. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Hauschka adds the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Pushkin now to send this one away following the score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So now Dalton and the Bengals down 17-13. A little over 80 ticks to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. to throw and his throw is going to be incomplete his big tight end Tyler Eifert the intended receiver but it'll be second down work with me partner take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now that incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit get in the huddle kind of scan the crowd see if any celebrities are here relax a little bit as they start this big drive big spot Andy Dalton to the left side here for Eifert He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Hey, 
He's back to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. They'll try to pass on fourth down. Dalton. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Check, 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 check. Mike, Mike, check, check. Is that, is that? On first down, it's gone. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Another carry now for Gore. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 42 yards out. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the yep. end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Hey, 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.